Okay, time to start working towards that bird of paradise. So we're gonna start with the shape that's on the ground. The upside to this one is it takes, I don't know if I would say less balance, different balance. You're gonna balance on your butt instead of on your feet. For some people, this one's easier. For some people, this one's harder, okay? So first, you're gonna start crisscross or whichever, okay? Whichever side you're gonna grab, just like how we were doing that stretch where we were grabbing our heel, we're gonna do the same thing from here. So initially you can put a hand down and lean if you need to. Eventually your goal is to use that hand to grab. So, but like I said, we're easy into this. So palm is up, you're going to cup your heel, push that knee as much behind your shoulder as you can, and we're bringing it up, okay? Goal is to bring this other arm up and grab. Okay, depending on where you're at flexibility wise, you can always use the strap on this one. Okay, you can either put the loop around your foot, whichever. Okay, so grab a hold of the strap. You can keep this hand down. Work on pushing that knee in towards your shoulder and extending that leg up. And if you want to work on this grab, the nice thing about using the strap is you can work here. Okay, foot can be pointed or flex, whichever, okay? Or working on this shape here, okay? So you can do it with the strap or without. If you want to add an extra little, hmm, fun little balance, you're gonna go with this first leg, whoop, okay? We've got it here. The second leg then, you're gonna try to hoo, 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 lift, okay? It looks kind of funky from this angle, I think it's better, I forget which side. It's better from the back. There's like a weird, I think it's this way, okay? So we're gonna go here with this first leg. And then the second leg is going to come up and extend, okay? So we've worked on that compression in. We worked on our shoulder flexibility. The reason is when this leg comes up here, if your arm is only coming to here, you're gonna have a hard time grabbing that leg, okay? So this is why we've been working these active flexibility exercises for the arms. Likewise, if you're taking this to an aerial apparatus, a pole or a lira, you're also gonna need that flexibility. The upper back also comes in, okay? Once you grab a hold of that foot, what tends to happen sometimes is we go here. Actually, the more you push through with this upper back, think about opening your chest, the more locked in, the deeper you'll be able to get into it. So if you look at it from the side, bring this foot up. Initially, I have to kind of find my balance that I'm a little rounded, okay? Once I grab on, I want to push with my upper back, okay? So this is our floor version. You're gonna start with this one. Play around with it. When you're ready, you're gonna take it to the standing one. You don't have to be able to do the floor one to take it to the standing one. But like I said, it's just a different balance. So for our standing one, what tends to happen for a lot of people when they work on standing balance, as soon as they lift one foot up, the other leg likes to bend. Try not to do that. Try not to get into the habit, okay? If you have hyperextended knees, which I do, you may have to micro bend, which might not be a visibly micro bend, but you might have to soften that knee so that you don't hyperextend your knees and put too much pressure on them, okay? So, but for some people, you know, if you have hyperextended knees, if you don't have hyperextended knees, for most people, it's okay to have that leg completely straight and locked. But Listen to your body. So if you need to micro bend, that's okay. But there's a difference between micro bend and meh, okay? So we're gonna start the same way. Um, the standing foot, you can externally rotate a little bit if you want to, sometimes that helps with the balance a little. So you're gonna start, this is where that exercise we were doing on the floor comes in because if I have to bend over to pick up my foot, funky on the balance. I want my foot to come to me. So stand up nice and tall. Think of bringing that knee to your arm here. Okay, the hand is to the front. Remember, you're gonna hold a little waiter's platter right here. Leg comes through, cup your heel. Just focus on the balance. Here's the first step. Just do this on each side. You can just straighten a little bit if you want to, but just work on standing, just here, okay? Oftentimes people rush to get to the full thing, but they haven't taken time to be like, can I stand on one foot? Maybe you haven't done that in a while, okay? So that's feeling good on each side, and there may be some days that are better than others, Okay, work with what you got on that day, is you're then going to work on extending the leg up. Okay, so palm is through. Okay, you're gonna cup that heel. You're gonna push that knee behind your shoulder as much as you can, and then work on extending that leg. 
okay? If that feels okay, this arm can circle and grab and then work on coming through. Whew, cramped, <laughs> okay? Um, balance, a lot of people oftentimes will ask, can I do this leaning up against the wall? If you wanna do a couple of warm up ones against the wall, just because that way you don't have to worry about your balance and where your hand goes and where your leg goes and where everything is going. If you wanna do a couple of them initially here, fine. But I would say don't do more than two to three as like a warm up and then take it out to freestanding. Because if you get in the habit of using the wall, you'll actually find your muscles are not reaching their optimal performance potential. Okay, because we just start to rely on it. Okay, so as much as it feels hard to be in the middle of the floor, only way it's going to get better is by working on it. So maybe do a couple over here to be like, okay, can I get a little deeper in that? Is it making sense in my head? And then if that feels okay, then take it away from the wall. Okay, so make sure you're working these on both sides. Let's look at once again, if you were doing this with a strap, Flexibility wise, remember this is not a flexibility thing. You have to be at a certain flexibility before um, you take it to the standing one. I would put it in like a loop around just because it makes it easier on this one, but personal preference, okay? So try to grab as close to the strap as you can and then depending on flexibility, you can let it slide out, but better to start too close. You can always slide out, really hard to slide in on a strap, okay? So same as on the other, stand up nice and tall. Try to pull in, Ooh. stand up nice and tall. If that feels okay, work on straightening that leg. Okay, I wouldn't try and reach over with this hand until this is getting in closer. Okay, so don't feel like you need to rush on that. If you're using the strap, you wanna work until you're getting to here before this other leg comes in, but you can still make really cool shapes, okay? So even if you're using the strap and this is here, maybe you go here, okay? Or whichever, okay? So play around with the shapes while you're in the process. Don't feel like it has to be completely to fruition before it's a cool shape, okay? so. Stand split, just to give you a little other view, okay? Shift that weight, stand up nice and tall, okay? Knee comes up, cup that heel, push that knee behind your shoulder as much as you can, Ooh, as I fall out of it. Hmm. Let's try that again. Okay, stand up nice and tall, bringing that knee up, cup the heel, Push that knee behind your shoulder, extending that leg up. Other hand comes up and over to pull in and reach. Down. Okay, so play around with these shapes. You've got on the floor, you've got the standing one, or those of you that want to take it to your aerial apparatus, definitely feel free to do that. 